Good morning, everyone. Good morning, grade two. How are you? We miss you. Mm, I miss you too. How's everything? You're doing a great in measurement, right? Did you have a lot of fun when you're measuring all objects around your room? Okay. We're done with ruler and meter stick. Today, we will measure length by using number line. How do we measure on a number line? Okay. We said before that we have two tools we can use, two tools to measure the length, which is the ruler and the meter stick. Today, we will not use any of them. Look at this page. It's page 709. Open it, please. Now, I want you to bring a crayon and pair of scissors and place them on the number line. When you're done, can you please trace them? Draw the pair of the scissors and the crayon. I will draw them. I will draw the crayon here to here. Okay, and then this is the crayon. And I will draw. This is my crayon. I know you can draw better than me. Now, I will draw the scissor. Okay? The scissor is i will draw it this is the first hand and this is the second hand for the scissor and then i will draw two like this okay then the scissor okay now uh, here we go this is the scissor okay now here you have a subtraction number sentence and three lines and you have an equal sign okay now when you're done drawing listen carefully draw a pair of objects on the number line and write the subtraction sentence that shows how much longer one object is than another how much longer how much taller, how much shorter. These sentences are all for comparing two objects together, right? When we compare two objects, we can say this object is shorter, this object is taller, longer. So now I want you to find how much longer one object is than another. As you can see here, you have two things, right? Crayon and scissor. Can you tell me how long is the crayon? Let's see. To, to see the, num the long or the length of the crayon, we will count the blocks we started from. That we will start from two here. They started from two. From two till three, it's one. So the space here is one. The other block here, block. The second block is two, three. Between five and six, it's also one unit. So now one, two, three, four, and five, and then six, and then seven, and this eight, nine, and 10. So how many blocks did we use in the number line? I used from two till 12. Okay, from 2 till 12, there is 10 numbers. Let's count them again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is the 10 for the crayon. Okay, for the crayon, 10 blocks in the number line. I will not start from 0 since I did not draw the crayon starting from the 0. Now let's go to the scissor now. We will count the scissor now. The blocks of the scissor. I uh, started from zero, so one, two, 
this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. See, I started from zero here till fourteen here, which is the see the scissor stopped where till here from zero till 14 so it's 14 so the scissor is 14 do you think how much longer is the scissor than the crayon what we will write first since we have here subtraction number sentence we always boys and girls start with the biggest number so 14 minus 10 is equal to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what number plus 10 gives 14 you can read it from the other side it's for great job boys and girls i can also find the difference between these two objects by looking look at me look here the scissor and here for the scissor i did not reach the crayon this is the difference now here right i started with the crayon from two while i started from the scissor drawing the scissors from zero so this is the first block this is the second block i can see here now here also the difference one and two so how many blocks is different how many blocks for the crayon how many blocks does the crayon need to be similar to the scissors it needs four more blocks so the difference is four don't forget the four we call it difference it's the answer of subtraction okay thank you we're done with page 709 go to the next page please 710 very funny you will love this page let's together i want you please to hold your pencils and let's solve together we have here clip papers and we have a crayon look carefully what is written up here it's what it's centimeters which is the unit we used it before to measure length now look at the number line here no need to bring rulers to measure the crayon or the clip paper you can just look at the number line the number line will help you the crayon is they said nine centimeters long but from where did they get number nine there's no nine in the number line no nine in the number line so how did they get it it's very easy from 20 to 29 i have nine numbers let's count them one two three four five six seven eight and nine great job so can you do the clip paper now with me yes we can so the crayon is nine centimeters long go to the paper clip Paper clip, we will count. Let's start. One, two, three, four, and five. See, it's five centimeters long. So the paper clip is five centimeters long. We're done. Now, can you tell me what's the difference between the crayon and the paper clip? How many blocks? does the paper clip needs to be to have the same length of the crayon we'll see uh, nine and five i can use a sentence which is nine minus five equals four let's see if it's correct here one two three and uh, four and okay so it's four blocks 
you can use 9 minus 5 equals 12. Got it, guys? Great job. Now, let's go to the next question. Use the number line to answer the questions. We have three objects. We have a coloring pencil, and we have marker, and we have rubber band. We will measure now using inches, but I'm not gonna bring the ruler as we said. We will use the number line in my book. Let's see, how long is the pencil? Okay, I cannot start from zero, but I will say from 61 till 66. How many numbers do you have? Let's count one, two, three, four, and five. You can draw also, as we said, you can draw blocks. So you can know how many blocks did you have. So it's five inches. Okay. And you can also use another way. 66 minus 61. This number is minus this number is equal five inches. Okay. Now let's send to the next question. We're done from the pencil. Go to the next question. How much longer is the marker than the rubber band? Marker and rubber band. I'm not going to look at the pencils now. Marker only and rubber bands. Okay, let's see. The marker is how, how, much, how much the marker is. Let's see. One, two three four five and six six for the markers okay six for the markers for the rubber one two and the three how much longer always comparison sentences it's subtraction needs you to subtract to find the difference between two objects right so how what is the difference we will see what we will write, I will show you a way to do it. Let's see. Look at it. The marker is covering the whole blocks. Okay, the whole number line. While the rubber is just covering the three blocks. Now, look, here is the difference. The rubber still did not reach to the side. The rubber did not reach to the side while the marker does. And this rubber does not, didn't reach. So... How many blocks is the difference? It's a three blocks. Great job. How can I find number three? I can find it by six for the marker, a three for the rubber band. So six minus a three equals to three. Got it? I know you did excellent. Great job. Put a big, big star for you smart students we're done from page seven 710 can you please move to the next page okay the next page use the number line to answer the questions now you have a crayon and you have push pen and you have a glue stick and you have pencil all in centimeters now you can measure it. No need to start from the zero. And remember, you count how many numbers or how many blocks is here. Okay. Now go to the next page, which is 711 or 712. Sorry, it's 712. Go to this page and let's read together and start solving. McKenna is... 38 inches tall. Her brother is 26 inches tall. How much taller is McKenna? Again, McKenna is 38 inches tall. Her brother is 26 inches tall. How much taller is McKenna? Okay. I don't need here for a number line. I don't here to change anything. I have 
38 inches and I have a 26 inches. Now, let's repeat now. How many characters do you have in this problem, in this story? Two characters are here, Makana and her brother. Makana is taller than her brother. But the question did not ask me about who's, one, who's taller and who's shorter. They said how much taller. So it's a comparison word, right? So now, how much taller? We always need to subtract when we want to compare between two objects or two things or two people, okay? Now, two characters here, McKenna and her brother. What we were right first, always we start with the biggest number in subtraction. 38 minus 26, it's really easy to subtract. 8 minus 6, can we? Yes, sure, no need to regroup, just subtract right away. 8 minus 6 is 2, great job. 3 minus 2 is 1, so 12 inches. Great job, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Now I want you please to solve page 711 alone and you can continue question number 10 and if you want 11, send me the pictures you solve. I'm waiting for that. Thanks for following. See you later.